This is Query. Today's contestants are a successful businesswoman and creative writer who manages her own blog and website and publishes dozens of articles each month. From Birmingham, England, please welcome I'm a Good Author. And hailing from Union City, New Jersey, but spending most of his time in Las Vegas, this contestant's hobbies include lockpicking, shuffleboard, and spending quality time with his reptiles. Here's Johnny Gamer. And now, here's the host of Query, Talix Rebeck. Hey everybody, and welcome to your favorite article writing game show, Query. It's great to have you all here. Let's get started right away with the very first round of Query. Today's categories are Back to Basics, Nice Body, What's Your Title, and My Resource Box Rocks. Okay, Johnny, you start us off. Oh uh, yeah, I'll take uh, Back to Basics for 200, Talix. Article writing is a give and take process. Where should you give and where should you take inside of your articles? My give to the reader is the mere fact that I wrote the article and my take is selling them my products over the entire length of my article. That's incorrect, Johnny. Relationship selling must be a foreign concept to you. Yes, Ima. The gift to my readers is in the body of the article and my opportunity is to take in the resource box with two self-serving links and my contact information. Excellent answer, Ima. Looks like you're really going places in this game. You're up again. I'll take back to basics for 400. How do you get one of those handsome, easy articles porcelain mugs that everyone is talking about? Johnny, you were really quick on the draw with that one. You find someone that has one, and you just swipe it when they're not looking. <laughs> not only is that an incorrect answer, Johnny, but it's a one-way ticket to writing your articles inside four concrete walls. Ima, hopefully you have an answer that doesn't break any laws. You can get an Easy in Articles mug one of two ways. If you earn a Platinum membership, Easy in Articles will send you one. You can purchase one at their online store found here. You're right again, Ima. I see a theme developing here with you. And you're up again. Let's do What's Your Title for 600? All right, switching up the categories. The title of your article should contain what three things? I got this one. They should be focused on my wants and needs. They should be sales oriented and ABC always be closing. That's incorrect again, Johnny. Now if the question was how do you lose your readers really fast, you'd have had yourself a winner right there. Ima? Article titles should be specific, to the point and relevant to your article body. They should also be interesting enough to compel people to read your article. You're correct again, Ima. You must have a great relationship with your readers, and you even threw in some extra credit. I really like that. Bingo! You've just found today's double query question. You know how this goes, Ima. How much would you like to wager? 2,000. Okay, Ima. The title of your article should sell your readers on what? The title of your article should sell your readers on the benefits they will receive if they continue reading your article. Great answer, Ima. Your readers no doubt appreciate your benefit-oriented style. Pick again. Hey, 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 is it my turn to pick a question yet? You actually have to answer a question correctly, Johnny, to be able to choose a question. Ima, you're up. Let's do nice body for 800. And the question is, what are two primary objectives you want to accomplish as an article writer in the body of your article? Ha! Gotcha. Oh, uh, the first is to make sure your sales message is clear to the reader. And the second is to make sure you have a large dose of self-serving backlinks to your primary website. Wrong again, Johnny. Your generosity never ceases to amaze me. You're up, Ima. And next time, if you could buzz in a little bit faster so we don't have to hear Johnny's answer, that'd be great. The first is to give your readers valuable tips that will build your credibility with them. And the second is to position yourself as an expert in your niche. Booyah! You could have won yourself a big stuffed teddy bear at the county fair with that answer. Nice job, Ima. You're up again. My resource box rocks for 600, Talix. What are the four main components of a well-designed resource box? Johnny, I hesitate to hear your answer, but what do you got? 
I, I don't know, uh, your name, your website address, uh, your sales pitch, and your call to action? Wow, Johnny, you actually got one right. We finally found a question that matches your take everything and give nothing attitude. Now, although it's true the resource box is your opportunity to take, hopefully you learn that you need to give before doing that. Did you hear that sound? You got one right just in time, Johnny, because we all know what that sound is. It's time for final query. Ima, since you're our only contestant with a positive money total, we're gonna give you an opportunity to double your money. Today's category is Easy in Articles Tools, and your final query question is, what Easy in Articles tool will save you a massive amount of time and energy and allow you to build a huge library of quality original articles fast? All right, time's up, Ima. Let's have your answer. That would be the interactive article templates on PDF. You are correct, Ima. And both contestants will receive all 52 article templates for their participation in today's game show. You can get yours by going here. These interactive article templates will literally give you ideas and structure to write hundreds of new original articles. And how much did you wager, Ima? Wow, everything. You're a big winner today, taking home over $14,000. Congratulations. Now that's it for today's episode of Article Writing Query. We'll see you the next time. And remember, to be a real winner, always write quality, reader-benefited content while submitting your next set of articles. Good night, everyone.